What's up everybody, it's Circle Flex here bringing you the first replay of the first assignment here. Uh, we're playing tier 7 mediums this week. And the first replay is from iRay from the Philo 2 clan. And um, it is in the T43, which is kind of surprising to me because they don't really seem to be that good of a tank. And you don't really seem to performing too well in the battles that I play. Uh, but in any case, uh, we are here now on Lakeville and it is a tier 9 game. Only three tier nines, but it's still a tier nine game technically. So he basically is uh, on the bottom of the team. Uh, even there's scouts that are higher tier than him in this game. So a bit of a rough matchmaking. It is Lakeville, like I said, and uh, like most mediums, he goes to the middle first to see if he can get some uh, free shots on the enemy team that are uh, basically stupid enough to uh, <laughs> go on the J line and uh, get spotted easily. Uh, but this time around, it's going to be a bit of a slow start in this replay, and nothing really too much happens right now. Uh, except for people getting shot at, basically, and not getting uh, any spots off. Obviously, iBrave is not doing any spotting here. He's staying safely uh, far away from the bush that he has to camel from it, and if he shoots, he probably won't be detected. Um, whereas the Pen38 and K14 are in a bit of a rough spot there. Pen38 obviously almost already died. So, but at least... The team is going into the city with uh, two tier 9s, uh, Yak88, T49, I6 there, and an I8. The I8 already got shot up quite a bit. They probably got early spotted uh, around where the IS is, maybe. But it is nice to see that actually the team is going into the city. Uh, a lot of the times when you play on Lake Film, sure, we've all had this where nobody goes into the, <laughs> into the city, not even the heavy tanks. Um, so it's good to see that at least. Uh, also, uh, I don't know what is up with the replays, but the, um, basically the zoom uh, is just completely borked. As you can see, it's way too big. That was a fully aimed shot, but it looks like it has a broken gun and a drunk gunner, basically. But um, that's just a replay bug. Um, I think it's been around on other YouTube channels as well. I'm not really quite sure if there's a fix for it. If there is, let me know in the comment section below so I might be able to fix it before Wednesday. In any case, he finally uh, found somebody to do some damage against. The CDC is way out of position. Puts two shots into him, no problem. The third one misses. That was pretty much fully aimed as well. Just a bit unlucky, I think. I think he went for the tracking shot there, I'm not really sure. But it was, uh, you know, at least it did damage, it was good. The first AP shot goes like top left. It's a bit of RNG there, because I'm pretty sure it was fully aimed. Then he finishes him off with some more RNG, because I'm pretty sure that was a high roll. Let me quickly check, if, actually. Uh, no, 180. No, that's actually fine. I thought I had less damage. That's fine. In any case, they're losing the 1-2 line right now. The T-49 and the IS are moving back. The Bulldog and i Rafe are still holding back here, but they quickly realize they're probably going to have to help uh, defend the base. So they have a Tiger 1 and a Liv on the 1-2 line there. Shouldn't be too much of an issue because I'm pretty sure the rest of the enemy team is all down south still. Uh, there could be a 1319 and T-49 as well. Because those would be fast enough to re uh, relocate like that. So let's just go here. The Tiger 1 snapshots into the gun mantlet slash I think maybe even roof. And doesn't pen. He aims for the cupola there. I think that was... I don't know why that was not a pen. That was a bit crazy. Maybe it was too high up in the cupola. Uh, doesn't get the kill shot there. He could have if he was a bit more lucky there. Then the live. Uh, checks for the tracks. Now goes for the cupola. And what you also will notice is that right after he shoots, he's he done this with the tiger as well. Right after he shoots, he goes... He, go, he starts going back already. And... That caused the tiger to miss and the Liv to only hit his track, so that's important to note. That's really well done. So right now, things are looking a bit worse. Well, it's still 9 to 8, but the people in the city are on low health. As you can see, the T-54 there is 110. And they have a Conqueror in I-6 still, but those are also on low health. You see the I-6, 428, Conqueror on 550. We don't really know what the enemy health situation is like right now. T49, enemy T49 takes out the T54 there. 
And then the bull that comes in as well. Has a critical hit into the tracks there by iRave. Next shot. Hits him in the tracks only, but that's more than enough. He, he doesn't have a repair kit anymore this late into the battle. Makes his next shot count. He does take another hit. Probably should have angled a little bit there. But he fixes that mistake, bounces the next shot, and finishes off the Bulldog. So that's the second kill, and we're only a 950 damage, but again, it's pretty rough matchmaking, so keep that in mind. See if he can hit the caravan there, but obviously they're behind uh, some cover. So everything starts dying really rapidly now on that flank. They just got the T-54, they just killed the I-6, and now the Conqueror is up. But as a tier 7 medium, you can't really do too much here. Um, you can't really just rush in there and help out the, the, the Conqueror. So, in any case, it's just the T49 and I-Rave left against two tier 9s, the Lorraine, the Waffle, and Caravan, the Rhyme Metal, and the T49. So they're quite outnumbered and outgunned and out-tiered, um, but um, making this decision to go back and defend um, and let them come to you is probably the best bet they could have had. They're gonna get outspotted by pretty much anything, especially I Rave. The T49 might do some self spotting, obviously. But if they work as a team here, that's probably the, the best thing they can do at this point. Trying to uh, just get as much damage done before you basically die, because uh, it's not very likely that you're gonna come back from this uh, as a winner. The T49 takes an excellent spot there on the on the little hill. A lot of people seem to forget that spot. And the first thing he spots is the enemy T-49, so it's a bit of a battle of the derp guns here. So as you can see, <laughs> that derp gun barely missed the T-49, but luckily our T-49 um, did make the shot count. So a bit of RNG there, but nice shot anyway. That's the way the T-49 works, really. So the T-49 is in a good position to spot things relatively uh, early. Whilst iRave is just uh, staying behind cover and waiting for people to show up, basically. And then maybe take some pot shots at them. So I don't really know where the T49 is going to the right there. It's not like he can see more from the right than on that hill, so it's a bit silly, but, you know. So they're just, they're just waiting. There's still 7 minutes to go, so it could take a while before the enemy team decides to uh, to go in there. So Lorraine shows up, pretty low health, and it is a Lorraine, so it doesn't have any armor to speak of, basically. Two shots and he's out. D49 does take a hit, though. He's now at 300 health, uh, whilst Irave only took the Bulldog shot, so he's still quite healthy. But being a tier 7, that doesn't mean too, too much. Caravan shows up. He's uh, completely hauled down. Oh, well, I think you can see his upper hull. Let's just see here, iRave tried to maybe snipe something off there, takes a quick snapshot, doesn't go anywhere, as far as I can tell. Uh, T49 should be able to HE him, but he misses completely, and now the Waffle shows up, and here iRave makes a pretty important decision, I think. So he sees the Waffle at 60 health, no armor whatsoever. Takes like half a snapshot and takes the Caravan hit, which is obviously really low alpha. Then the Rhyme Metal shows up behind him. And he goes into auto aim mode so he can focus on the driving while still making uh, use of his gun fully. This is what I do as well, you auto aim. There's just incredible bounce, like how do you bounce a T-43 with a Rhyme Metal? That's just incredible. Anyway, this is where he uh, un auto aims and tries to shoot his gun out. 170 again. Then low rolls. And then ends up killing him with a, I guess it's, I guess it's a ram, but it's more like a hug of death or something, uh, for like 16 damage and kills the rhyme metal. Caravan shows up, misses his first shot. He tries to circle around the caravan as well. He shoots again, misses, and I rave finishes him off right there. So there you have it, I rave coming back victoriously. Five kills and almost 3k damage, almost all done at the well blink of an eye in the end of the game there. Um, with a bit of luck, uh, the Rhyme Metal bouncing, Caravan missing, uh, but you know, that's what you need in these tiers, because being out tiered like this is pretty painful. In any case, we're going to take a quick look at the final stats here from I Rave. so uh, let me just open that one up. So, let's just...
quickly check Ayurveda's score for that ending there. Uh, he obviously got the Kamikaze medal, which I forgot to mention in the replay because he ran killed the Borsig for like 13 health. So that's a, a cheap Kamikaze, but a Kamikaze medal nonetheless. That was uh, quite nice. If we take a, take a look here at team score, he has 1374 basic speed, 5 kills, almost 3k damage. And this is within the tier 9 game. Uh, so I think that's quite nice. I don't really see T43s performing that well, usually. So this was uh, quite refreshing. Um, he made a little bit of money, only 782 because of the APCR shots basically missing. Uh, I think on the CDC and on the Caravan. So missing APCR shells, that's gonna that's gonna hurt your pocket a little bit, as you can see. But a uh, very very nice uh, score overall for uh, being in a T43. Uh, well played, nice defense in the end there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first replay. I got more coming up on Wednesday and the final replay on Friday. And on Friday, I'll also announce which of the replays I think was the most enjoyable and will win uh, 5,500 gold. So, in any case, hope you guys enjoyed the replay. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and leave a comment below uh, saying what you did or did not like about the video. I'm still kind of new to this. So, uh, if you have any pointers or tips, I'll gladly take them and, uh, you know, share your thoughts on the replay. I would love to uh, hear what you guys think. Uh, so, yeah, in any case... Hope to see you guys on my live stream as well. Stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays for some more Roll of Tanks. So check out if I'm live or not. And in any case, uh, have a good one, guys. Peace out.